Maybe I'm just nostalgic Or maybe it's truly magical I'm Andrew. And I'm Brooke. And this is the Diz Nito Podcast. Today, we have a very fun little special episode with yet another guest who we haven't had on the show. Uh, it's a new guest, and we are here to hear all about his trip to the far and foreign and amazing Disneyland Paris. Well, first of all, I want to say we work with this special guest. Yes. And we didn't know for a long time what a Disney nerd this person was. And lo and behold, he went all the way to Paris just to go to Disneyland Paris. That's the story I'm going with. <laughs> His name is Phil. Tell us all about it, Phil. How First you doing, of all, everybody? why didn't you tell us you were such a Disney nerd to begin with? We don't keep it very secret around here. It doesn't come up, much less people tell me there are chat rooms dedicated to Disney at work. <laughs> I mean, I've got Elsa stuff all over my desk. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, you just threw that out there. <laughs> Not so secret anymore. You should edit it later. Um, I apologize, I'm getting over a cold. But uh, <laughs> the background is uh, my boyfriend and I had been meaning to go to London and Paris for quite a while. Back in 2015, we actually went to Gay Days over in Disney World. Mm. Um, and did that entire week, the magical weekend, Gay Days, and all that. Ooh. Uh, we loved Disney. We didn't realize how much we loved Disney because we didn't come back until spring of last year where we decided to actually become annual pass holders for Disney World and Disneyland together. Mm -hmm. um, and what started the entire trip is, for the first time ever, Disney parks have sanctioned the official first Pride event. And it was over in Disneyland Paris on June 2nd, a Saturday, and it was called Magical Pride. So we decided to make a trip from... Uh, Memorial Day weekend on the Saturday of London, all the way to Paris, and then Disneyland Paris, concluding with the Pride event. And I guess I can skip or skip the London. I can skip the Paris. Yeah, skip London. You. This was all just that's all. That's all. The whole point <laughs> was all Disney. Was. <laughs> Honestly, he looked at me and said, "If we just got on the plane and went straight to Disneyland, you'd be happier than you are right now." And I'm like, "I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, it's like, obviously. that's what I'm here for." Yeah. <laughs> But uh, Disneyland Paris, so I don't know if anyone's been to Disneyland in California. Um, no. Disneyland in California is a different entity entirely. Uh, it's not so big. Uh, it's the original. Things get updated there more often. Uh, Disney World is mostly people who are visiting from other countries or have never been there for the first time or it's their first time in like five years. From a Disneyland perspective, it's mostly locals. They had millions of pass holders, which is one of the reasons it's so expensive and so crowded to get when you get there. Um, and to liven it up and have people come back all the time, they keep changing things up, such as the, uh, the Haunted Mansion when it becomes the night before Christmas and things like that and all the, their little after events. Mm -hmm. Not so much in the world. Disneyland Paris is more like Disneyland in California than it is in Disney World. It's composed of two parks. One is the Disneyland Paris Resort, used to be called Disneyland or Euro Disney and then it got five names essentially mm. <laughs> but now it's Disneyland Paris Resort and uh, Walt Disney Studios the Walt Disney Studios is very comparable to MGM okay. and has a lot of the old things so it's that... pretty lame <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> it was lame when I was there because I felt like 60% of it was under construction it's see little, so I wasn't it's wrong it's a little less magical when there's walls everywhere right there's posters <laughs> saying you know mind our dust the, yeah. as cute as you know, Donald and Pluto holding those signs are. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's not yeah. quite the same. Um, anyways, but so we get to France. We take the, the regional rail. Um, if you're in New Jersey, it would be taking, like taking the, the New Jersey Transit over to New York City. If you're in Philadelphia, it's like taking um, SEPTA, I guess, from here over to uh, Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. So in Paris, you can get from Center City on the regional rail to Disneyland Paris in, I would say, 20, 25 minutes if everything's going correct. That's Perfect. not bad. No, it's yeah. not. All the locals jump on it. Yeah. Um, you can tell who's going to Paris at that time. 
Mm-hmm. You jump on it and everyone gets off because it's the final stop. You can't mess it up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> But you get off the, the stop there, and you are essentially dumped straight into the Disney Village. You come out of the train station, you look up, it's Disney everywhere. The first thing you see is just like Buffalo Bills, Wild West Show, with Mickey lassoing something, I forget mm-hmm. what it is. Um, but tons of trains go there, and it's a great place to just get to and start your vacation. Um, we stayed at the Sequoia Lodge. There's about five uh, Disney resorts there. And they, they range from the, the value and the moderate to the mm-hmm. deluxe. Um, we're not rich, so we stayed at the Sequoia. And I was going to be like, I bet you stayed at that deluxe. <laughs> no, no. Oh, my gosh. With the Euro conversion, it's no, no joke. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I think we paid about 200 a night uh, American after the conversion, and that's only because we went through the Magical Pride booking, mm-hmm. tourist booking. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it would have been 350 400 a night. Oh, so they got, <clears throat> they got their stuff down. Um, it gives me heartburn. Right? <laughs> yeah. Magical Pride has been doing this for quite a few years. Um, I only recently found out about it because I don't really go to Disneyland Paris. But again, it's the first you time. You do now, I, though. It is. A, I will get to that. It is, a, <laughs> it is an easy trip. But uh, for the first time, like I said, they are sanctioning their own events. Mm-hmm. It is uh, an after-hours event. It's hard ticketed. Like you go on the Disneyland Paris website, you buy a ticket. Um, it's just like all the after events in Disneyland or Disney World if you go to like the water park at night mm-hmm. or the after hours for three hours, which is awesome and expensive, by the way. And you buy that there and you do the day and the events at night. But uh, let me start from day one, actually. So the Sequoia Lodge is one of the oldest, oldest. Man, does it need a renovation. Yeah. <laughs> Moderate hotels over in Disneyland. But it was packed. It was nice. Um, Disney never wants to distinguish between their hotels, calling them motel or hotel. If you've been to, like, all-star resort or stuff like that in Disney World, you know, it's a motel. The the door's on the outside, Mm -hmm. and that's the way it all goes. And the hotels are, like, the Polynesian, the Grand Floridian. All the doors are inside. Mm -hmm. We all do. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, Give me that free pass. They have nightly bonfires on the beach at the Polynesian. (laughs) Exactly. I want that. It's wonderful. (laughs) But at the Sequoia Lodge, it's indoor, so I'll consider it a, a hotel. And it's just modeled after the great outdoors. Uh, the sound effects are birds being chirped in from speakers everywhere. You, there's trees are so high, you can't see past anything. Hmm. Um, the fun stops there. It's a decent <laughs> hotel. <laughs> the room is mad, you know. There's a bed. There's a bed, and it's somewhere to lay your head at night. As, as with most Disney fanatics, yeah, yeah, yeah. you do the park all day, just watch yourself place to rest your head at night. Yeah, that's no joke. No. I was so tired every night. After I heard World. about your trip. <laughs> <laughs> Who hasn't? Trip <laughs> heard around the world. Uh, luckily, it steps from the Disney Village. Disney Village is pretty much just like downtown Disney or Disney Springs as they call it now. All walkable. Mm-hmm. A f- couple bars. It's pretty small. It's pretty old. Needs renovation, which they just announced. And you walk through, and from the Sequoia straight to the entrance of the park, it is probably a 15-minute walk. Oh, mm. convenient. And it is split into two entrances. On the left, Disneyland, or Walt Disney Studios. On the right, Disneyland Paris. Naturally, it's our first time there. We wanted to go to the, Dis- uh, the main park first. The thing that's cool about that, though, is compared to Disneyland and Disney World, the Disneyland Hotel, which is the most expensive hotel you can get at 9.99 euro a night. Oh Jesus! Yeah, that is essentially the, the entrance <laughs> to the park. Huh? The hotel is sits on top of like I don't want to say arches, but it sits on top, and you have to actually walk under the hotel. And under the hotel are all the ticket booths, and you can buy your ticket there, or just keep going to the gates, and you walk on through, and the entrance to the park is there. <clears throat> The thing about Disneyland Paris is they use QR codes, something that never really caught on too well in America, I would mm-hmm. say. Disney World is Magic Bands. Disneyland, I don't remember. It could be QR or Swipe now. Um, but one of the things that got me the most is, uh, for those who do Rope Drop or Rope Drop to Fireworks, they know that when you are in Disney World or Disneyland, you wait in that line. 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, or whatever, before the park opens, they start letting people in. And 
everyone wants to get to that first ride. They want to get to that first meal or that first character greeting. It doesn't matter. What I love it is. that you just said that first meal. Like, mm-hmm. thank you for calling out the because that could be it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just like yeah. I want that first meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got to get that churro. Yeah. <laughs> there are no churros in Disneyland Paris. I'm never going. Well, <laughs> trash. I couldn't eat this. Yeah, that's fun. No churros. But um, mm. so as soon as you get through the gate. In America, you walk briskly, briskly I'd say, <laughs> to you know whatever first thing you got. Not in Paris. Paris people dead sprint as soon as they get through the gate. Like they're going for a personal best to get to whatever their destination is. <laughs> like I've never seen like kids with you know parents with strollers and kids they are sprinting in it like oh man. It's amazing. I love it. And it's not like uh, in America where the cast members are like, please slow down, please slow down. Nope. Bonjour. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and they're just dashing by you, getting to whatever they need to get to. And it just, that sets the tone for mm-hmm. yeah. how a little more loose, a little more, you're not at home. You're not in America. And you're in Europe where everything is a little more, I would say, relaxed. We walk in and it's this weird, surreal, eerie feeling. The bricks are kind of the same. That forced perspective is kind of the same down Main Street. The center is the same. You see a beautiful pink castle at the very, very end. <laughs> And you know you're in Disney World, and it's as close to home as you're going to get, and something very, very familiar, but there's just something so off about it that you discover as you just keep walking through the park little by little. Um, the castle, I'll start with, is probably one of the coolest castles there is. Uh, there are castles everywhere in, in Europe, so they're not going to model a castle after anybody or anything. <clears throat> so they decided to make their own. It's not terribly big, but there's a, so much detail to it because they could do whatever they wanted when they were making it. Mm-hmm. But the best part is that beneath it is a dragon. A huge. This is Aurora's castle, right? Huge animal. Uh, I want to say it's Aurora's castle because it's France, but I don't remember. Is it Aurora's? I'm going to bring my phone to search. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, you know. Underneath is a huge dragon. Uh, it's not a real line to get in. It's kind of like walking through in Disneyland if you've done the bell. Or not the bell, the uh, Sleeping Beauty walkthrough. You just kind of go in, see a huge animatronic. It breeds smoke. It's colorful, it's dark, it's not like anything you'll ever have when you go to a park. Um, I've never been to Hong Kong, Shanghai, or Tokyo, but I'd say it pales in comparison to what I've seen. Uh, The park is laid out a little bit differently. If you're a fan of Magic Kingdom, you'll know it goes in a certain order from left to right. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm always going to mix it up and someone's going to yell at me, I'm sure. It's like Frontierlands first. And we walk to the left, which we figured would be start with Frontierland. One thing that's very, very, very different about these parks is in Disneyland and Disney World, there is a certain math, a certain theory, mm-hmm. a certain <clears throat> layout to these parks where every single square foot, square inch is designed for maximum throughput of a, of the guests or to make money or to lead you somewhere. Mm-hmm. But in Europe, there's so much open free space. So. You're like, you know, that could be money here, that could be money there, this yeah. could lead you here. So you can actually wander off the beaten path and be like, oh, this ended up to be nothing. <laughs> Which is how we ended up from Frontierland into Adventureland. We're like, oh, crap, this is a path. It's one of the greatest things ever, though, because the sense of exploration huh. in Disney parks, if you go enough, you just know where to go. Mm-hmm. You know how to dart, get there, all the shortcuts, where to dart. The, but being in a new park, it's kind of nice to explore and stumble upon. This is a nice entrance. Mm-hmm. Um, so Adventureland, I'm, I know I'm going to this up, but Adventureland is more like, uh, it's very modeled after Agrabah. There's, mm. oh. it's much different. <laughs> uh, you know, I saw Genie and Princess and Aladdin. Those were all the pictures and the stores were there. And the walkthrough is the storybook, you know, exhibition of the story of Aladdin. And I don't know who designed some of the sculptures, but they're a little off, and I don't know if that's on purpose to just make it be like, you're in DLP. It's France, you never know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They were detailed, they were wonderful, they were nice, but it's something to get through. And one thing I like about Disney parks in general, it's like, is this a door? Does it go anywhere? Yeah. I don't know, let's walk through. Let's, let's explore, let's check mm-hmm. it out. You know, I'm not a great adventure, I'm not, I'm here to enjoy the environment. Right. <laughs> uh, but, you know, walking through, it's not, not that crowded. It was a Memorial Day weekend, or week of, so the temperature was moderate, like 68 to 70. Nice. No rain, a little bit of overcast. But we are huge fans of the Haunted Mansion. Mm -hmm. 
and in California, or I'm sorry, in Paris, the Honda Mansion is known as Phantom Manor. And when you go into the area, and like I said, I'm going to screw this up, whether I'm in Adventureland or Frontierland, because they're backwards, the story for the Phantom Manor actually takes place on a good portion of the land. The area is called Big Thunder Mesa. You have Big Thunder Mountain, and you have Phantom Manor. The story is intertwined between all of them. How you're supposed to get that, I don't know. Maybe it was something in French. Mm. Who knows? Who knows? I'm but, not French. I don't know. <laughs> Alas. <laughs> <laughs> French are quirky. They are. Um, but Phantom Manor, is, uh, it recently got its renovation finished after, I think, two years. And it opened up about a month ago. Ooh. And apparently it was supposed to improve the story and some animatronics. I didn't get shit from the store. <laughs> I, had, I had to sit there on Wikipedia afterwards and just like read about it. And I'm like, there's no way you'd be able to get through this. Mm-hmm. And like, long story short, Big Thunder Mountain is a place to dig. They dug too much. Spirits came out. Oh. Stuff happened at Phantom Manor. And that's the reason it's there today. Okay. Gotcha. How um, ironic that it was called Phantom Manor before they... At least all those ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> Could have just been that. <laughs> the manor. The manor. <laughs> uh, wonderful ride. The uh, animatronics, they rival that of the U.S. parks. Uh, knowing, trying to attempt to know the story, I just gave up in the middle of it. I'm like, I'm just going to enjoy this. Yeah. I'm going to try to stop comparing it to U.S. parks, but you can't help because they had a basis of somewhere. Also, it's always a competition. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> Um, we got through that. There's less puns, I would say. Like, if you've ever been on the Phantom, uh, Phantom the Haunted Mansion, like, uh, line, or I didn't see them, mm-hmm. the, the weird gravestones and things mm-hmm. like that are after the ride. And you actually have to make a left to a dead end to actually see them mm-hmm. rather than go to the rest of the park. Again, this mm-hmm. goes to the layout of Disneyland Park in general. Uh, so we kept going, and from here, it's just kind of a blur. We were like, you know what? Why aren't we getting fast passes? Yeah. Yeah, we're we're that stunned with Disneyland. We forgot to get fast passes, so we're that we're that big of a fan. Yeah. The uh, the fast passes work just like old Disney World or old Disneyland, where you walk up with your ticket, you scan it, spit something out. Here was a little different though. The the passes were like ten or twenty minute windows. Like you didn't have that good hour. Yeah. To like plan what you wanted to do, and it was time to ride it. You better go ride. Mm-hmm. And the passes still went out anyway, or sold out, or however you want. They they expired. <laughs> Uh, they, you could get a knife, another fast pass five minutes before yours started, but if it was on the other side of the park, you're just yeah, you're running screwed. and you're not really. That's not enjoyable. I don't like running to yeah. this world if I don't have to. Mm-hmm. It's not a place where I should be scheduling every five seconds. Right. Uh, but anyway, so next is Big Thunder Mountain. Big Thunder Mountain is the best Big Thunder Mountain. It beats <laughs> any of the other ones, is what I'm told, and I can see why. It takes place on an island, so you have to go under a tunnel when it starts. It's faster, there's dark areas, mm. it's a little bit steeper, and it's just overall more enjoyable. I like danger. <laughs> so those are all at my is it? <laughs> <laughs> I heard your aversion to Space Mountain, so... Fuck uh, like Space Mountain. Rickety. Whiplash. Also space. Space. Yes. Space. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well... Disneyland Paris has their rides are a little bit more thrilling. They're a little bit scarier. Like when you're in Phantom Manor or Haunted Mansion, I would say the best comparison I could do is if you think of like a, a skeleton in a biology lab. It's just white. It hangs. You know, it's a skeleton. Mm-hmm. But in Phantom Manor and Disneyland Paris, these things are decaying. You know, there's Ooh. there's all this detail to it, which yeah. I you know you can appreciate, and you being a horror person okay. can very very much appreciate. Mm-hmm. The rides are a little bit more thrilling. Like I said, it's faster. Um, Space Mountain here has a loop. Did it? It doesn't in California or Florida, but it has in Paris. Oh. And yeah, is the it only ride, yeah, I think the only ride in Florida that loops is the Rock and Roller Coaster. Mm-hmm. Was it yeah, that wooden in awesome. Florida? Uh, Space Mountain? Space Mountain? Mountain? No. Inside? It's a metal course, coaster. Yeah. Why do I think it's wooden? Did you not see the pictures I mean, you I can took hear on my like the rickety rick, like metal shit when you ride it. We took the people mover through Space Mountain when it was closed down for repair, so all the lights were on. So I got pictures of what oh, it looked like. Oh, you were there like. for me. <laughs> <laughs> Eric goes Matt plugging his trip again. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't just talk about it. <laughs> I was clarifying last information. <laughs> Man, a loop sounds fun on Space Mountain. Yeah. There's a little more to that, though. So the, 
the Space Mountain in Paris is based, they're all different. The, the one in Disney World is kind of like the Matterhorn. The one in Disneyland is a little bit different. But this one is based off that old, 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 I think it's black and white movie, you know, um, To the Moon. Oh, yeah. Journey, Journey to the Moon. Like the old, the old like, black and white, like the thing gets stuck in the moon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I love that movie. So yeah. it's modeled quite after that. But it's a oh, full, cool. full blown roller coaster. Like the, it's not little carts, it's a full roller coaster with a harness and everything. And it, it reminds me a lot of rock and roller coaster. You go through, and music is blasting in your ear, but it's hyper Space Mountain. Hyper Star Wars Space Mountain. Star Wars? I'm sorry. Oh, you're losing it. You're losing it. I know. The rock and Roller Coaster. You said Rock and he Roller did, Coaster. He did, and I perked up. I was like, I love Rock and Roller Coaster. I so you're, it's like you're flying through a space battle, fighting Imperials with lasers and garbage going all over the place, and it's they ruin loud. Everything. Star Wars. Like, I just yeah. don't get it. Why do we have to do that? I, because it doesn't make money. money. So is it not about to the moon, or is it about both? It's kind of about both because it started off not as hyperspace. But when you have to put, when they put the word hyper, as I understand, it, in front of it, it becomes Star Wars. Oh, because when I was in Disneyland, California, it used to just be Space Mountain. Yeah. And they put hyper in front of it, and it got Star Wars themed. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm sure hyper Space this. Mountain. <laughs> But everything around it is... I hate it. Like, <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> it's not Tomorrowland there. It's Discovery Land. Discovery um, Land. I guess it was too new to have that kind of retro future that kind of happens when you walk into Tomorrowland of the other parks. But Discovery Land is... It's got this brown and green... I like it, but this, this color palette is much more different. It's not that blue and silver you get in America. Mm -hmm. And I can really appreciate it. It's fun. The line is extremely humid. There's nothing spacey about it, in my opinion, when we're going through it. The line is humid? Yeah, it's very humid. What? Like, temperature-wise. Like, like they it, make it humid in there? I don't know if it's on purpose, but there just is no airflow. But that, that could just be... Sounds Is awful. it about, like, the environment and things like that, this area? No. It's okay. still about... So brown and green, something like earth tones. Uh, like an earthiness. They, they are very earthy. Uh... I don't know. I mean, it, it Come almost. Come on, Phil. You didn't feels, explore uh... the theme. <laughs> I, 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 there's no time. Quickie. He said that earlier. Oh, there's no time. <laughs> I'm not. I'm even bouncing between lands now. I just have to end with <laughs> Space Mountain because yeah, it was yeah. there. Um, I'll move away from Space Mountain. <laughs> Good idea. Hyper Space Mountain. Hyper, Hyper Space, Space Mountain. Fuck you, Star Wars. Sorry. Yeah. Really are you not a culture. Are you not a Star Wars fan either? Extra I've great. never seen a <laughs> single, <laughs> single lick of that shit, and I don't plan to. I'm, I'm interested in Hyper Space Mountain. We'll talk about that off the air, I guess. Sure, Daniel or something has something to say about that. Oh, he always does. Are you guys Indiana Jones fans? I like Indiana Jones, yes. There you Care go. <laughs> oh, no. You know what? I love the adventure, but I'm not like a, a fan. You don't like Indiana Jones? I don't He's need fine. You to be a fan. You just need to enjoy He's the... an explorer. I, I like to explore. Yeah. Okay. So uh, from that perspective, yeah. Okay. He's very much like Dora. Like Dora, yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, like to explore. Are you going to go see that new Dora? No. <laughs> exactly. That's you a love, different podcast. But you love explorers. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> well, unfortunately, Indiana Jones here is a roller coaster that has inversions. <gasps> so I don't know. See, I'd be all about that. That sounds you... really fun. Okay, so I want to compare it to like a minecart, but it's a slow coaster with inversions. I can't really describe it. It's different from. It's not a stunt show like in MGM or Hollywood. Are you or saying? Are you now. saying it's boring? It's not boring, but all the hype leading up just to a upside down roller coaster. Just you know, kind of give me. it to us straight. Like, is it? Bull ride. I wrote it worth it, the wait. I wrote it six times. So you wrote it six times. There was no line. <laughs> that sounds like it could be a good time. <laughs> so you know, it's it's worth it. It's not bumpy. It's not it's not unenjoyable. It's like a, a chill ride. Yeah, it it's good enough that you'll ride it six times and be like, it's all right. <laughs> I'll get to that as well. <laughs> uh, the Friday we were there, you know. I'm going to a foreign country. I'm not going to be back for a long time. It costs a lot to go there, fly overseas, all that garbage. So in Disneyland Paris, you can buy Fast Pass. You, it's like Universal. You can buy the stupid thing that goes on your wrist, and you can ride unlimited amount of times, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there's only like eight rides that do it. <laughs> Space Mountain, that, Big Thunder Mountain, Ratatouille, all this other stuff. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Indiana Jones, why not? I'll ride it a bunch of times, not coming back again. Mm -hmm. Space Mountain, same thing. I'll ride it a bunch. Uh, Phantom Manor, 
Unfortunately, does not have fast pass. We waited through that shit yeah. a lot, <laughs> a lot, and by a lot I mean like four times. Uh, the rest of the world is it's strange. There's no Liberty Square. There's no you know there's no America there because mm -hmm. it's because it's, it's Paris. Because like, it's Paris, but it's France. France. Yeah, the fantasy France. land there. France. France. Uh, you know, it's Sir Lancelot's carousel and. I don't know what it is with Peter Pan, but in all the parks, Peter Pan is so popular, and the it's, wait time is so long. It's such a boring ride. What? <laughs> it's, it's a really you boring ride. Around. It's very fantastical and pretty to look at. It is pretty to look at, but it's not like wait two hours in line pretty to look at. He would absolutely wait two hours. I would not. It's the one ride that I'm always like, I'm fine it. don't do I it. don't know. It's good. I had a fast you know, Let's ruin it for him. Like, he ruined Not on that ride, no. Bad. Every don't time we it. went by there, there was a huge line, and I said, my I family's like, we don't it. do lines. Yeah, so that's that's the only way to do it is the fast yeah. pass it. And even the fast pass had, like, a 30-minute wait. Mm -hmm. Jesus. I don't know. People love it. It's short. <laughs> if I never went before, it's cute. and I never waited two hours. I'm going to do cute. You would. We're gonna I go want, to Disney it was World beyond and incredible, it. and you have to do it. Not cute. No. <laughs> when we, when we finally doing. do the podcast trip, we'll get a fast pass for Peter Pan. When we finally do the podcast trip. Anyway, <laughs> back to Phil's Tell me I'm poor. trip <laughs> to Disneyland <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Other than Peter Pan, there is a huge labyrinth called Alice's Labyrinth there. It's a huge hedge maze, Ooh. which goes back to, the, like, that wow. Scary. I can't believe you guys use all this space to make a huge hedge maze. That mm -hmm. If you really want to explore it, you could spend 45 minutes in there. Not getting lost, but just looking at stuff. Mm -hmm. Things popping up at you, going into the castle, overlooking everything. And I appreciate Alice. They, you know, Alice in Wonderland takes place in France, so they have an attraction there. It just, I didn't realize how big of an attraction it is and how much space you could dedicate to something that you don't actually ride. Mm hmm. It's other people's cup of tea. I enjoyed seeing uh -huh. it. <laughs> I you did. Yeah? Very <laughs> <laughs> <Right>, funny <laughs> of you. <laughs> um, next to it is a small world. Small world starts outside this time. I and did not do small world, I will say. Same. It's that cute. looks lame. Never did that one. <laughs> Of course, man. I love it. It's cute. It's what I miss. It also doesn't have a two-hour wait usually. I'm like, that that's had, a like, garbage the ride. Longest wait uh -huh. when I was at Disney World was Small World. Just like went, the line went on forever. It can go for quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, but the line was undercover, so I was happy. That's nice. That's, yeah, you that's know, half like, the battle. Those are some of the rides you gotta appreciate. You know, at least just to get a break. <laughs> yeah, I just don't want to be in the sun anymore. Yep. I mean, it's overcast, but I still felt the heat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, <laughs> too long didn't ride. You go through, but the best part is just like when they get to America. The America part is like Statue of Liberty, Golden Gate Bridge, of a Hollywood sign, and then beyond that, tucked in the corner is like a baseball player and a football player, American football. Will there any hot like, dogs? In general, or no? In, in America's America. portion. I, I was too busy just because I feel like that's very American. Being generalized. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And a baseball player, a football player. That's, that's America for you. Yeah. We've got New York, California, and athletes. That's it. We had New York, Northern California, Southern California, California. And and that athletes. was it. That was it. Yep. That's all I saw. That's America. That's all they really care about. Yeah, that's all they know. Well, I mean, they don't need to see any more America. If they wanted yeah. to, they would just go to the, the U.S. parks and right. our it's a small world. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter at that point. Right. Huh. But I digress. <laughs> he, uh, there's a bit more to Walt Disney Studios, but again, things are under construction. Like Pocahontas Village? Couldn't go. What? Under there's construction. There's a Pocahontas Village. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot who I'm catering to. Hold on. <laughs> There's a Pocahontas village. Please go into great detail. I can't because it was closed. What the fuck? Yeah, I so looked on the like map. a village, though. And I'm, I don't know what goes on there. there, I, there it's probably killings. going to be a There's probably killings. a river you, you just stop. stare in this and you reflect. This is America. It's that's, France. That's right. They're not going to kill them. <laughs> I want to go there. When do they open that? Can we go? Can we budget that in? Yeah, we'll try to budget that. Yeah, out. great. Thank we'll you. do. We'll we'll try one year to hit all of the parks. Perfect. <laughs> wow, you have to try and get on that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! But I uh, spent quite a bit on this park. But one thing is the fireworks there. For some reason, they started at 11 p.m. and we're like, why does it start so late? Because Paris knows how to party. No, because Paris didn't get dark at 10:45 p.m. Oh wow! Why? Yeah. yeah, that's weird. Is it Alaska? I don't know, but the. Uh, <laughs> The park closes at 11. 
So that's the only thing to do at that time. And there are not a lot of fireworks. It's mostly projection, and then like pew pew, <laughs> fireworks. <laughs> pew pew. <laughs> I just looked up Pocahontas Village. Yeah, what Hyper it fireworks. For? Looks like a trash little playground. Let me see. <laughs> Is it a place you'd find that's a, like it? weird? No, that's not Disneyland Paris. <laughs> it, it Disneyland Paris. That's dis. That's in Disneyland Paris. I could find that down the road. But they said it's under construction, so maybe they're actually making it. Into maybe they're making. That reminds me of like a dino the dino park in Animal see Kingdom. See how much yeah. they disrespect. Like her? Well, yeah, maybe they're kids. trying to respect her properly. That's yeah. disrespectful. <laughs> and I'm glad wow. they closed that shit down. No, renovation. Yeah, the renovation. Refurbishment. They, Sorry, refurbishment. Refurbishing. <laughs> they're not even making it better. They're just cleaning it up. You don't know. They might be building it just... Yeah, I guess it would be insulting for Pocahontas Village to be filled with trash. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's move over to Walt Disney Studios Park, right. where the Earful Tower still exists, and I can appreciate that because when I grew up... On the way to Hollywood Studios, you'd see the water tower. It has two ears. You're like, I know where I am. It's not me. I didn't place. go when I was a child, so. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that tower. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of representative of the park. Yeah. Andrew, do you remember that when you were a kid and you went? It was the water tower that had Mickey's ears on the Oh, top, let's all talk about when we were children in, going in to Disney Magic World. Or uh, MGM. When you would go to MGM as a kid, and before they had the hat, it was a water tower with Mickey's ears on it. Oh, uh, see... I remember seeing pictures of it. I remember seeing TV. pictures of that in the commercials and the Disney movies I watched because yeah. we couldn't afford to take the family to Disney World. I didn't go to a teenager, which is when the hat was there. Uh, but thanks for reminding me of the water tower in the Disneyland commercials of all those kids that got to go. Yeah. Feel better? <laughs> <laughs> Only slightly. <laughs> Only slightly. This brings back memories of TGIF in between. Yes. Yes. Everybody. Oh, my God. How's that for a Disney 411? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god, Disney 411. Well, I just had an idea for an episode. We'll talk after. Oh god. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> All right, we're on our way to M- uh, MGM. Walt Disney Studios. Walt Disney Studios. Which is like MGM. Which is like, yeah. And also 60% under construction. <laughs> so Sounds that's like. The two, yeah, it's a blast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the two best things there, Crush's Coaster, which really needs to come here, and Ratatouille. Crush's Coaster, if you've seen Finding Nemo, of Finding Dory. Of course, Crush is adorable. The turtle, you know when he rides the EAC? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Think of a roller coaster, like an indoor dark coaster, almost like a... Think of what it looks like in the movie, and that's exactly what it feels like when you're on this coaster. You're a turtle going, spinning around, riding this wave. Ooh. Like a Finding Nemo rock and roller coaster type? Yeah, except a little calmer and a little more spinny, but not too spinny. So you're not... I don't even, like spin. even I t- love spinning. I hate <laughs> teacups and stuff. So that's my thing. Oh, I can, like, it's a, is it kind of like a... Spinning is like, like a one drum. of those mouse yeah. coasters? Where you're in the cart that can spin when you're going through? Yeah. Oh, this God. is a coaster <laughs> that... All wild mouse dark coasters wishes it could be, in my opinion. Mm. Like, it's that good. And there's a reason why the good. line immediately skyrockets at 50 minutes, 10 seconds into the park opening. It also loads very slow. And during the Magical Pride event, when we were coming back into the, the station, the person in front of us was stuck in their chair. They couldn't get out. Oh, oh no. no. Um, yeah. They why? Were just, they uh, were trying to do stuff in the dark stuck? with their bafoua. The, the, the seatbelt wouldn't come up, and the employees were on the side hitting the emergency levers and all that. They had to cut power. The technician had to jump on the tracks, use a hex key, and open up the seatbelt. But don't worry, they loaded someone right back on there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would out. probably get back on. If it was a person, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, I like, it's cool. Yeah, let's all ride right, again. Nice. Whatever. But that is the one coaster that needs to come here. Most people don't even know it exists, but you feel like you are Crush, and you are cruising down I've the ocean. i always wanted to feel like Crush. Well, that's that Disney magic that I love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's nothing, nothing really beat that. And I should have that with replacing the Finding Nemo mm-hmm. ride in Epcot, because it's kind of Careful. just... No, it's a fine ride, but, like, it's no different than any of the other rides that are exactly the same, where you're just in a thing moving very slowly through scenes of the movie. Like, There's give a me Finding a Nemo ride at Epcot. Yeah. It's yeah, the, it's living scenes. where like Soren is. It's off to the right. Oh, yeah. Tucked down in. I think I had a fast pass for that, but I got too drunk and <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go. I missed that it's one. Very, it's very cute, but it's not like a thrill ride. It's like a sit in air conditioning and enjoy. Let's take your kids and have yeah. a break. 
Yeah. It's yeah. more for the parents to have a break, I think. That's what I mean. So if they got rid of it and replaced it with some cool ass shit like that, I'd be like, all right. They could get rid of Test Track. They could. Test Track's a little over. Test over Track is uh, lame. Everybody hates Test Track. Andrew's I Andrew's love, 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 love Test Track. You haven't been there since you were a teenager. I know. Let's it does go not back now, up. and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stare at you the whole time. <laughs> that was time like 10 years ago. I'm just going to look at you like I picture everything still. I do forget how young you are. We also have to remember, I love cars. True. So, like, I love waiting in line for test track because I like Getting to see like their the research and all that kind of fun stuff plus I like to go fast oh they don't really do all that anymore like you know yeah, they, they, they really stuff. follow you through they kind of just yeah. get on this ride oh, man. yeah mm-hmm. call it a day so well, now it's just the test ride portion that was like five minutes of the ride screw that <laughs> there's air conditioning I know you don't like well maybe you don't like cars one of you doesn't like cars that much? We hate the movie Cars. Holy crap. I like automobiles. I, I was like, wait, cars. do you mean like an actual vehicle or no, a movie? No. She like, loves her like Subaru. talking cars that fill up on Danico gas kind of cars. No, fuck that. They movie. have a Cars thing there? They have a Cars ride there. It's like the test track of the West, except it doesn't suck as much. And it's fast, it's fun, it's clean. It's what saved Disney California Adventure, essentially, when they opened it up. Huh. That one's worth a trip out to the West Coast. Do that one. Interesting. I won't do that one just out of principle. Well, watch Andrew ride that one. <laughs> I'll watch you be like, is it good? I'll like Snapchat you as I'm doing. Yeah, give me your like real, let's, we're in FaceTime. Yes. I need the real time thoughts. And then we'll do have Matt at the video be my screen and your screen FaceTime. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you race, there's two sides. <laughs> you can get one and go and that, that makes it more interesting. Yeah. To race. And I've won on both sides, so it's not completely one sided. I kinda like that. And it has a single rider lane. That's the most important part. Oh yeah, I did single rider for test track. Yeah, because that line can get pretty brutal. Mm-hmm. Um well, let's move on to the meat of it. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Yes. That's that's right. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. And that's, that's coming like, to Epcot, right? It is. It's yes. almost finished, I think. I mean, other than that dude dying during construction. Whoa. It's been a pretty good. R.I.P. Obviously. Yeah. Disney secrets. It's fine. Yeah, they'll put a little placard in the front. Yeah. <laughs> in some like tree hidden. Yeah, behind yeah where no one can see it. Just an R.I.P. Obviously. It's there. Like, okay. R.I.P. Obviously. <laughs> obviously. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> I didn't die on the ride. Just making it for our enjoyment. Yeah. It says R.I.P. Yeah. Atui. R.I.P. <laughs> Matt thinks he's so funny. Don't let him. Oh, Don't dad, turn you're funny. <laughs> so we're all Ratatouille fans here. Yeah. Love yeah, Ratatouille. I actually watched Ratatouille last week. Fantastic. Tell us about it. It is great. It is a very small area, though. It's not like a whole world went small in Toy Story Land. If you've been there, there's Chez Remy, which is essentially Gusto's or Chez Remy, depending on how far into the movie you are. The Ratatouille ride and a gift shop. Not much else. Fountain in the middle. Let's get on to the move, to the ride. Mm-hmm. The ride is fantastic. It's great. I don't know if you've ever been on a trackless ride. Uh, trackless rides in America. The Penguin Encounter in SeaWorld is the only one I can think of. That yeah, was a trackless there. ride. So there literally is Magnus. no track. Think of um, bumper cars. Mm. It's like that, except a ride. I don't know how it works. Science, whatever. Yeah. Math, science, Math, science. research. It's 3D, so you get glasses. Imagineers took care of it. Yeah. yeah. Imagineer lab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagineering at its finest. You jump in a rat. It's my, my personal favorite. You jump in a rat. <laughs> oh, yes. It's a two-row rat, three and three. Okay. There's also a single rider's lane for this, I believe. Uh, you jump on it. It moves. You don't know how or where you're going. You look like you're about to smash into somebody, but you don't. Because they don't want to get sued. <laughs> yeah. You go along, you follow the adventures of uh, Remy as he goes through the kitchen, people trying to kill him constantly. He's the chef. Like, didn't we establish this at the end of Ratatouille? Damn. Constantly trying to kill You're pretty much, it's a, a ride of don't die. <laughs> Until the very end for you eat. Like giant That's things life. coming down at you? Yeah, like you go under burners, you go under tables, you oh. you run through the walls and you dodge mouse traps. That actually giant. sounds pretty Everything interesting. Everything is giant. Oh, I love it. You are a rat. It is a wonderful ride. I think we wrote it the most at like eight times or something like that. Ooh. That one I cannot wait for it to come here. It deserves to be in the French Pavilion. The one thing that's weird, I don't know how or what if they will change on it. Because some of it's in French, some of it's in English. And there was no rhyme or reason to what was French and what was English in Disneyland Paris altogether, other than Mickey Mouse. Like, if you go to a show, Mickey will always be in French. He'll always speak French, and then they'll respond in English. Just so you 
internationally, you can get both sides of the picture, you kind of piece it together. And I guess I did that because, you know, this Disneyland belongs to Paris. Mickey's got to speak French. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. I can respect it. <laughs> but on this ride, you know. Does he do this accent? Like, does he talk in French? But like Mickey. Does he do a French? Croissant. 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 That's exactly what it is. Man, we are so limited in our French. Merci. <laughs> Very. We're American. We. <laughs> we. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Okay, that's kind of cool, though. Yes, I. You appreciate it. It's it's fun to just be spoken at like that. I love <laughs> being spoken at. Spoken at. at. Um, a high pitched French voice <laughs> by a giant rat <laughs> in a mouse. suit. He's a respect. mouse. Yeah, that is a mouse. That's right. <laughs> Remy's the rat. Remy is the rat. Ride right 2, we had no consistency. It's a 4D ride. Sometimes I got splashed in the face like when the champagne flew yeah. in. Sometimes it did not. I don't understand. When I was underneath the oven and the flames came down, sometimes it was hot. Sometimes it was not. I don't understand the consistency of it. But you have French. Are they ever consistent? Like, come on. <laughs> well, <laughs> the smoking. So they're in, in the U.S. Yes, it's here about this. <laughs> it's very different in Europe. <laughs> There is no smoking in the U.S. anymore. You have to go outside the park, and that's a designated something here. Well, yeah, because in France, they all have their lunch cigarette, their chocolate <laughs> cigarette for dessert. Like, that's what we they do. They love to smoke. They love to smoke. They do love to smoke. And watch the nightlife. Tell us about the smoking. Toddlers <laughs> drinking they wine. They ignore the smoking sections in Disneyland Paris. They light up wherever. French don't give a shit. I think I inhaled like two packs of secondhand smoke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the entire three and a half days I was there. Jesus. It was astonishing. Were there a lot of children? Oh, yeah. It's interesting, Disneyland. America. It's interesting that in Europe we can just pollute our children's lungs <laughs> and they're fine and they have cool rides. Listen, yeah, our parents could are. pollute our lungs at those parks, but now we don't get the same privilege with our children. No, it's be bullshit. Like, oh, I have to take care of your health. I can't just like secondhand smoke the shit out of this in front of you. Like, come on. Think about that podcast we did a few weeks back, guys. Yeah. That debate? Yeah. You still lost. Yeah. Did I though? <laughs> now we know that it is fine in, in it, Paris. It is fine. <laughs> Aside from, <coughs> aside from you getting all the secondhand smoke, I used to smoke, but well, he's, he's and I can fun. understand wanting to smoke everywhere, but my God, they need they need <laughs> areas. I, I may as well gone to China because the the air pollution was bad. Really, at certain parts. Yeah, I I don't know what to say about that. But Interesting. It's your... I have a very important question. Mm -hmm. When you're in Disneyland Paris and you're walking around. Does that bitch come out singing that song about all the townspeople being really rude? No. <laughs> Good. Not I'm at all. In fact, I don't... Well, I'm talking about Belle singing the, her provincial town song. I don't remember a lot of Beauty and the Beast at all. Then why is America so obsessed with her? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> they are obsessed with Belle in America and not in France. Because she's anti-smoking. <laughs> you know what I bet she's for smoking. No, she's probably not. She's probably like a member of PETA. No, she's, she's probably not. like she dated the beast. Exactly. He wore fur. Did he? He was fur. He, he was, he was fur. fur. Yes. <laughs> no animal Does testing. Does Rowdy wear fur? Is that your argument? Yeah. Animal testing. There's a lot of the big things with the animals, so it doesn't matter anymore. That's true. <laughs> oh, I expected to see four things these in Paris. Marie from Aristocats. Because oh. they you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was told that she used to be more prevalent there, but I see her a lot more in the French Pavilion in the world now than I did over there. Alice in Wonderland, Ratatouille, and Beauty and the Beast. I felt like I saw no Beauty and the Beast. At all. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I, I wonder if it's something that was, was more everywhere. prominent when they first opened the park and it start, like slowly filtered out. Maybe they even recognize what a bitch she is and they're like, mm-mm, not -mm, here, Belle. I don't know. Do -do. like... Think about it here in America, though. How many, like, quote-unquote, American princesses have there been? It's like Pocahontas, Tiana. Like, they're not really represented. It's representation of the princesses Are they American Europe. princesses? Where's yeah. Tiana from? I never New Orleans. She's from Louisiana. Yeah. Is that Princess and the Frog? Yes. yes. Why do we have a princess from New Orleans? 
you know, let's not dive into that right now. Yeah, we'll talk about we, that we are not having yeah, that I don't conversation. Wanna, I don't want to be on that episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different episode for a different <laughs> It's a beautiful movie. I've never seen it. I don't know. I'm oh asking gosh, objectively. Don't even start with your food. food. No, it just doesn't seem like a place where we have a kingdom, so it's all I'm saying. You have to be a king. Of it's me. a circumstantial princess. There we go. That's that's she that's dresses as a princess for Mardi Gras. That's actually the truth. <laughs> oh wow! Spoiler alert, man. This is the first like five minutes of the movie. He's never seen it. That's true. I now have like no desire to see it. Oh, it's so good. Just kidding. Definitely, definitely right. jump on that. Well, I'm looking at the clock for when we have to come back to our desk. So, oh, oh, right. so uh, final thoughts. Toy Story Land next. <laughs> Uh, Toy Story Land's old. They don't have the same rides. Great. Hollywood Tower of Terror. More like Disney World than Disneyland, surprisingly. Doesn't do a lot. Pretty much the same damn thing. You can skip it. They still have the Backlot Tour. The Backlot Tour that went through all that stuff with, like, Disaster Island and things like that. Mm -hmm. Still fun. Probably needs to go. That's a lot of real estate they could use for other things. (laughs) They just announced the Star Wars Frozen and Something Lands. Frozen Land? The other building of Frozen Land. There's a third In Disneyland one. Paris? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, we're going to Paris, guys. <laughs> we're going. All for you. Just for me. All for They're songs. redoing the Pocahontas, you know, shiesty ass park and <laughs> bringing in Frozen. Just for me. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do it. Uh, rock and Roller Coaster? Mm-hmm. Rock and Roller Coaster's there? It felt really bumpy to me. It's essentially the same thing. It looks older. It was, I don't know if it was there. Is it still Aerosmith? Yeah, but that's ending. So oh, I don't thank know God. Gonna, I don't know what they're going to do with it. Probably something just as lame. Yeah, Rolling Stones. Yeah, I'm like, gone, Judy. <laughs> but if you want to gauge how old the park is, the Armageddon ride just closed. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Like, Throwback. Ben Affleck, Armageddon, mm-hmm. Aerosmith. Throwback. <laughs> yeah, and I was, was kind of sad. I was like, you know what? I would like to ride that. Is that Disney? Is that it, it wasn't Disney. It's so more about that, because it's a Walt Disney Studios park, yeah. where there's sound stages and things like uh, that, it's all about the movies. Like, we heard the Harry Potter theme playing in the park because it's about the movies. I would be so confused. We were very confused. <laughs> I'd be like, Harry fucking, fucking Potter and Disney, what the? And uh, I remember, it's Marvel's Allowed there, so there was, it was the summer of Marvel, and you saw like the superheroes speaking friends to each other, and then lasers and smoke and... But did uh, you see Chris Pratt? No. I okay. saw some guy trying to play Chris Pratt. Did he come close to looking like him? Ah, uh, I no. 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 Okay. Well, then I'm not interested. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Not interested then. But final thoughts are in Disney World and Disneyland. More, you see Disney bounding people trying to dress in the styles and mm-hmm. Dapper Day and all that. In Disney World people have T-shirts, the family shirts, and all that. Disneyland Paris. <laughs> couple ears here, a couple of Mickeys very subtle here and there. The fashion there is much more different. Even when you're in the city, you know, you want plain clothes. Like, you can tell how very American you are if you're just wearing a t-shirt that's all graphicked out and things like that. Oh, dude, we're about to look American <laughs> going to Disneyland Paris. We are wearing crazy Disney shirts. Oh, yes, Girl, we if are. if I'm going to Europe, I'm going to be European. No, you ain't either. I will do some cute little petite ears. Oh, I'm going to be walking around just with my little hey, girl, hey, with yeah. hey, hey on it. Just little petite <laughs> ears with my big Maybe ass we cigarette. Will, we will dress European. Because if he's wearing a hey, girl, hey shirt. <laughs> like, like oh, I said. I don't know you. <laughs> I am very French. Yes, I've been. Where did Brooke go? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you can do your style. And what you can was smoke as much as you want. the best thing you ate? The best thing I ate there. Please so I get. I mean, I get there. We went to the restaurant. Sorry, we went to the Captain Jack's mm-hmm. restaurant. We went to Walt's restaurant, which is the closest thing you can get to if you know about Club Thirty Three over in Disney mm-hmm. World. Uh huh. And there was this duck cream of corn duck soup. With, I don't. I can't describe it. Cream it's of on the corn menu. Corn duck soup. Yeah, it was Sounds wonderful. horrible. Well, the thing is, when I was there, I was like, I'm going to try to get the most unconventional stuff I could get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought you'd be like, I want the nastiest thing I can find. <laughs> no, no, that sounds delicious. Everything there is fantastic. Um, I There was popcorn in it. It was soup. It was creamy. There's it was popcorn duck. in it? It was good. I don't get it. I'm not a cook. I just put everything I see in my face. <laughs> I love it. That's the way you got to do it. Yeah. Why That's not? how you learn what I you like the and don't like. The French. You just put it in they your make mouth lovely and you toast. You just and put it in your mouth and try it. And... But Disneyland Paris is a very, very easy trip. I compare it to just going, like going to Disneyland California. In fact, it might be cheaper sometimes. We flew out of Newark and flying out of Newark to Europe is always cheaper. Yeah. 
but it's uh, it's cheaper than going to the West Coast. It's quick. The train goes. You jump off the plane, jump on a train, and you're right in the heart of Disney. It's is you can find a cheap hotel. The resort. Something he's like Disneyland Paris is such an easy trip. Com- Just go. Compared. Just go. <laughs> it makes to sense California. though. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been to California. Especially if once you get there, it's easy to get places. Yeah. That makes a huge mm-hmm. difference. Um, but I also want to touch up on the thing, the reason I go through there, the Magical Pride event. Oh, yes. Tell so, us. So, you know, it's Europe. They're a little more laid back and more accepting, I need to say. The merchandise <laughs> what do you is great. mean? More accepting than America? America. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But it, there's something to no, be you said. Be gay, let's be clear. To, <laughs> <laughs> I want that on a shirt. <laughs> It's an officially sanctioned event, which means we had an officially sanctioned parade. And I don't know how it worked, but maybe the call went out to like everyone who worked there, like if you're an employee or an ally or whatever, and you want to come here and celebrate Pride, feel free to be in the parade. Because it was just choreographed dance of 500, 600, hundreds of employees, all in rainbow colors, with rainbow like balloons and Mickey shapes coming down the line to some remix of uh, that love song from I think it's Jason Derulo is it Jason Derulo's can mm. you <laughs> no it's definitely not that I can link yeah. you guys later it's from an older movie and it was just pleasant you know <sighs> it, to be in Disney to know you belong in that in that park for that event for everyone there for the same reason um, you know you kind of just swell up a bit Emotionally, mm-hmm. seeing things come down the line, seeing Mickey and Minnie riding in, you know, essentially a pride car, being an that official. That is really cool. Being yeah. an I official like float, everyone dancing on the side because the music was blaring. Yes. Yes. Uh, something about club music at Disney. As you're going through the park, it was a fun event. Um, it's cool that they've they've done it for the first time. I think they are making strides to move along because they have an official. Pride or Rainbow Line, if you want to call it that, in Disney World. And I was I, gonna say, aren't they doing something officially now for Pride? I don't know about we'll an event see. wise. It's in Florida, so but we'll see. Like yeah. They're trying to make an event that probably costs more because gays have money. <laughs> <laughs> Before that, that starts up. You can smoke. You can be gay. And you have money, obviously. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was happy to be a part of it. There was a concert at the end. Uh, Jonas some, Brothers? No. French people I never heard of. French right people now. I never heard of. <laughs> Boy <laughs> George did going. a DJ set. And then if you know the band Years and Years, they did a, a set there as well. Huh. That's so cool. People danced. All, none of the rides had lines. I got to get a picture with Emil, which is my favorite rat more than Remy because he's fat and eats everything. Yes. I can relate. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> yes. And we concluded that night and went home the next day. So it was a very, very, very fun thing to do. Very You know, when you casually want to go to Disneyland Paris for the Pride event, <clears throat> you just go over on a Thursday, hop back on a Sunday, you're good to go. <laughs> and seriously, though, you've like, inspired me to say, fuck going to Florida. I need to get to Disneyland Paris. Well, speaking of Florida, why couldn't we record this next week? <laughs> well, um, I am going to... Independence Day celebrations in <clears throat> Walt, Disney, Walt Disney World during that. What the hell, man? <laughs> I, I'm a season pass holder. I gotta abuse it while I can. That's what? true. You gotta yeah. use it up. And then I have. You're living the life. I'm with, yeah, I'm like going with Disney geek. You know that. And then I'm going to the D23 convention in California in August. When when is that? That is the la- second to last week of August. I think we found our new. I'm gonna be in Atlanta. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you want? Do you want to produce <laughs> podcasts? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> well, can you learn? <laughs> How are you with I know batteries? someone who could teach you. I'm very good with batteries, but they're probably going to go towards portable fans. <laughs> <laughs> it's I love it. It's machines. I love it. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I would talk about Star Wars, but you don't care. Yeah, no, we don't. We <laughs> sure don't. And I that. would try to pretend to care, but you'll see that I don't. Yeah, I, that's I, I, very yeah, obvious. fall on deaf ears, I'm, I'm okay with that. Oh, we're at but time. That is, uh, that's it. If you guys have questions, feel free to send it to them. I'm sure they can... No, what they'll do is they'll send them to Matt. <laughs> feel free to send it to Matt. And then... Andrew. I'll try to uh, answer anything. Thanks, Phil. No problem. I'm very Thank you for jealous. Me. Thanks for joining us, Phil. This was awesome to hear about the trip and to catch up. Um, that's all, guys. They know where to... Bye. They know where to contact us. I'm not talking like <laughs> oh no, 
brown cow. How now, brown cow? Enjoy me. All right, here we go. Is this recording? Yes. Yeah. It's recording. Disney World Podcast, episode 6,442, featuring Phil and his trip to Disneyland Paris. Take one. I was say take one. <laughs> now take two. <laughs> <laughs> listening to the Geekscape Network. You're listening to the Geekscape Network.